Jesus. Thank you, sir. Yep, so we will proceed into the atmosphere of praise and worship now. And I want to call on our sister, to my right sister, for me, right, to come and lead us. As she's coming forward, let's rejoice and let's thank God for the life of the celebrant. Somebody shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout a wonderful hallelujah to Jesus! Hallelujah! Yes, they are praying for me on this one. not a joke. Even though she's looking 20, don't mind her. She is 50 today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wa won ti Jesu she. Wa won ti Jesu she. Ale she le wi. Ale wi le she.
and he taught me some of the bad things that I know today. Thank God I met Mr. Tony, who taught me the good things that I now know today. Chef Mopa, I thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you still flock together. I think we should thank their wives. So for all the women here who happens to be the wife of the I think the wife association of the celebrant and co, I think you should give yourself a round of applause. Let's go to the hill. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Shall we all rise as we take the hill? To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Song. This is my story. 
I have some songs to sing. Hallelujah. And I know that the songs will also resonate with you. Amen. Bale Bell Aho Fuyi Oloba For the ones that uh, know those songs. Oko Olo Of waiting, she was there. 
I want to appreciate God for your life. And my wife also said I should appreciate God concerning your life. And the Lord that has given you that gift will never take it away from you. Just like I said, it's a time of appreciation, a time of reflection on what the Lord has brought us through. I know you have your Bible here, or you can search from the from your phone. Just one verse. Jeremiah chapter number one, verse five. Just few words. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. And it says, Before you were formed in the womb, I knew thee. Before you came forth, I ordained you as a prophet unto the nations. It is only in this part of the Bible that I saw that perception comes before conception. Perception comes before conception. And you know conception always comes before delivery. Because you have to carry the, the, the pregnancy in your womb before you deliver it. But God said before you were formed in the womb, I knew thee. That means God knows you and I. In total. Even before we were formed in the womb, God knows us. He knows exact what you are coming to do on the earth. So for my sister here, it's a time of gratitude to see and look behind you and see what the Lord has brought you through and see what the Lord has done through you as his daughter. And I know that whom you are looking at there Celebrating her golden jubilee upon the face of the earth. I know you don't know her very well, but I can give you some description about her because I've interacted with her for many years. And I have these words to say concerning her. Let me just open it quickly. I said here. Let me give you a vivid description of who God has formed the celebrant to be. A loving, caring, selfless, seeking for the good of others, kind-hearted, amiable, tender, graceful, poised, and full of humor. And then very, very humble. Hallelujah. This is the person you are saying, a round of applause for Jesus. Because it is the Lord that has put all this virtue into her. Making her a virtuous woman. I don't know what the Lord has kept on the inside of you that you have been hiding all this while. Please use it for God. That is the word, that is the summary of what I can say. Whatsoever that God has formed you to be, Please let that formation be to the glory of his name. Because this life that we are living here is very short, very, 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 very short, for a very short while. But it is whatsoever that you do for God that will speak after you. I know she has so many, many, many more years ahead of her, seeing her lovely children's children to the fourth generation. I know the Lord still has so many things for her, but what can the Lord say concerning you? As you are seated there, what can the Lord say concerning you through some other people that have interacted with you? And I know that as we are speaking concerning her today, marking her golden jubilee, I know so many things will still come out of her in the name of Jesus. I can hear that. Amen. You have come to celebrate with her. And I know that the Lord that has brought you here will also make others to celebrate you like this in the name of Jesus. So in your seated position as I'm running up, 
is just bow your head and begin to talk to God this afternoon and begin to say concerning him, Father, let all the virtues that you have kept on the inside of me, let them be used for your glory. Let them be used for your glory. For your glory and your glory alone. I don't want the devil to take any part of the glory that you have on my life. Let everything that you have kept on the inside of me, those virtues that you have kept on the inside of me, just like we are speaking today of this celebrant, Father, let those virtues come out. Let them be used for your glory. We are talking about her today. What can they say of you? Will bring glory to God. I can hear that. Amen. I say every part of your life will bring glory to God in the name of Jesus. No matter what year you will be celebrating the next, as people gather together and celebrating you, it shall be to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. The golden jubilee that you are celebrating today, Sister Olayemi, I decree, just like gold is a resource that is not found on the surface, every of the blessing that the Lord has kept on the inside of you, they will be sought after in the name of Jesus. Gold is a precious substance. I decree your life will be precious in the name of Jesus. Much more precious in the name of Jesus. The entire family, I cover them right now with the precious blood of Jesus. And I decree, no harm comes to you. As you are celebrating 50 today, you will celebrate 60. You will celebrate 70. You will celebrate 80. You will do everything that you desire to do in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. He shall do it. I shall do in the name of Jesus. The blessing of the Lord in your life, I decree, everyone will see it and give glory to God. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Virtuous woman you are, the Lord will continue to make you virtuous. In the name of Jesus. Your strength will never abate. In the name of Jesus. Strength upon strength for you as you go in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Permit me to anoint you this afternoon. Strength for the race. Hallelujah. Rise up, sir. Hallelujah. Please stay up there. God bless you. And let us all please stretch forth our hands to her and begin to pray concerning her. The strength that the Lord has given to her will never update. You will keep going from glory to glory. You will keep going from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus. All these children, you will tutor them very well. You will tutor them to a place where there will never be any fear in their lives anymore. You will help them to carry their babies. In the name of Jesus. Every blessing that the Lord has your heart for you in this year and beyond, you will see them in the name of Jesus. You are anointed today for more experts in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. The blessings of the Lord, they will be attached to you everywhere. Faithful will follow you. Everywhere you appear, faithful will follow you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. God bless you. Good afternoon. I want to buy the choir and get here, my dear. You know that. Eh? You pass over for a little time, my dear. I want to give you a little care. You know what I'm saying? So let the same brand see you now. Then we'll come back to that testimony. Do you agree to that? All right. So. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord my God! Thou forever be 
You will not cry in Jesus' name. You will always be happy in Jesus' name. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Father. Jesus, we will pray. Thank you. Is your turn, Abby? 
Okay. And teacher wants to speak. Oh, please, everybody, listen. Praise the Lord. Can I hear me? I want to thank God for Edemide family, which I was Edemide and Mrs. Shema Kiosi now. But Edemide, we have God blesses us with good wives. The my auntie that just spoke, one of my wives, Edemide, don't allow me, don't, don't show you to me. Allow me, you're supposed to be my wife, Wabi, because I'm Vegas senior sister. Vega is after me, and I have my senior sister here, and I have my brother there. So, all I mean, when Benga, Benga was going out with her, I used to look at her and say, Hey, Benga, you don't know, don't you, hello? <laughs> so, I know, <don't, laughs> so you can see now, your sister is talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, but as, as that goes on, I know, so that I mean, I said, What's your name? You know, I thought that she was going to be, we know, small piece, and, but all I mean is so friendly. When I say friendly, I mean friendly. I say I never pay your money. Ah, I want your money, Rotani. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, they are not today, but ah, all I mean, full of energy. Ah, and this show, I want to know. You know, to tell you how to know the closeness between us and the wives. You don't even treat her like a wife. You know, she's my junior sister. All I mean is friendly. She's motherly. She's sisterly. She's a god, a virtuous woman. She's godly. She's everything that you can think about. All I mean, I pray today, even as we come to the fifth floor, the Almighty God will go ahead of you. Isaiah 45 verse 2 says, "He said, I will go ahead of you, and I will make every crooked way and make them straight." All I mean, I speak it to your life that all the crooked ways in your life that God will make them straight in Jesus' name. You will not fall, my sister. You will not fail. You will not falter. You will not die young in the name of Jesus. Why say I will make back, back, back in the mighty name of Jesus? All I mean, I want to tell you today that I love you. I really love you and I will always love you. God bless you. Uh, sir, you will give, uh, Barista will give you permission to kiss her. Don't you this way when we're from. No, 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 I'm saying it because of the mic with me, yeah? Okay, any other person there? Going, going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I do well on the Lord. 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 Last year, second year school. For the past 31 years, I did that in this school. I do well on the Lord. Last year, I did well on the Lord. I do 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 well on the Lord. Bye, bye. 
she has to be strong because she's married to a very strong man. You know, um, Mr. Lemonade is a wife for all seasons. I didn't invite you to this discussion, you know. But she has won this man who has so much love in good and in bad times. She's resilient, supporting, and a very good rule wife. She's very caring and understanding. And in situations that have been very tough, she's been able to go through them all. And she's very calm in all situations. I say this because I know. And she could not have done this without her love for God, her love for family. Hearing her sisters in law speak about her today says a lot. Because sisters in law are known to be witches. But <laughs> <laughs> this one's are loving her and blowing so many kisses. I hope the video man is recording all of this. Because the word of man is the word of God. As we have spoken today, God has heard. And whatever utterances you have made today, glorifying her and acknowledging that she is good, that she's really a faithful wife, God will reward her for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that the years ahead will be better than the one that has gone by. And the love between you and my dear friend, Binga, will continue to wax strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Congratulations.
and send to every member of our family to celebrate another 10 years again with you in Jesus' name. And not here, but with celebration of great things, enlargement on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus. You have seen the grace of your children that be celebrating good things. They will celebrate many more in the mighty name of Jesus. I wish you a very long life, many happy ones of today, in Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations. Everyone, <laughs> About the celebrant, just something small. Wow. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm happy to be heard. I'm happy to be part of this. I'm happy I know you. It's a friend's wife. The husband is my grandma's good friend. But uh, one thing I want to say about her. But she's a woman full of um, respect. Yes. She will never, or she has never for once, say, Mommy, damn it. She calls me sister, sister, and I call her my sister too. You know, it's not easy for a woman to absorb the husband's strength just like that, especially the opposite sex. But you know, 
She's just, she's a sister. Then she's a giver. The first time I came to this house, I told them I would have married. You know, in few minutes, my food was packed, only she did she. In the cooler, big cooler that I had to take home and everything. So, and she's like everybody said, she's a prayer warrior. She will tell me, ah, Auntie, it's come Mumbawa. Long days away. I would say, can I do this? God, please. And that puts me, <laughs> it's a challenge to me. So, last year I said, can you go back back with 30 days straight? But <laughs> I don't think it's easy. Maybe that's why I'm fast. I think it's very Yeah, it's a very good woman. I pray the Lord will continue to uphold you. Are you a top on you? Your children will rise up and call you blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. All right, sir. So, praise the Lord. And uh, my name is Oyade. Uh, As Yemi used to call me, I got to know Yemi in 1984. We met at Abelsa Grammar School. And to the glory of God, we are both at Zoba 8497. To the glory of God, too, we are both great Funabites. Yali is a wonderful friend. We fight a lot, we play a lot. We share a lot of private things together. The mistake you will ever make in this life is if me and Yemi, we are quarreling, and you put your head inside it. So, so when uh, I need to interrupt this one. Yes. So when Barista came, how did you discuss Barista it? Barista took Yemi away. How did you discuss it that time? Yemi did not tell us. Eh, hey, that you won. <laughs> we were in this school. I could remember that uh, we were denied the opportunity of all this, uh, the way we would dress there, the way they do bridal, bridal train there. You know, we were all ugly. So I wish I just saw Yemi and ah, we knew the old guy. We found ourselves. You know, we were all struggling then. But to the glory of God, I am happy today. We have made it. A lot of our friends that we started together, a lot are gone. But She's, uh, she's my head one. We by four months. Uh, we have all started climbing like If you see our platform now, she's been celebrated today. Of course, thank you. We cannot, I uh, mean, streaming. You will have provided the stream for us now. So that she's a, I mean, she's a good cooker. She can cook and she can sew very well. She's holding me one, one nice uh, dinner gown and she's going me that. And she's also holding princess. You remember? <laughs> Thank you. Yemi can dance. Because I remember then when we were in the school. Me, I can't dance. I don't know how to dance. So I know how to sing. So Yemi can dance, she can sing. So she tried to go to the choral and cultural group. While I went to the choir group. You know we don't dance. All we do is like this. So if you don't know how to dance, you just like... But Yemi, she can kulubai it. They keep this to the extent that they won an award for Open State. I remember that time. I was kind of so, because me, yeah, I don't know how to. If you, you, you bring her out, I think there is one of us that stand up for recognition. Why are you hiding yourself? Which is around. Yeah. She's also one of us, too. They, if they see those songs, the way they will be, they will be dancing. In fact, you won't know how, you, how people will be just begin to shower them with uh, money. So I want you to please help appeal to them to sing one of those songs today to entertain us. She will sing one and she will dance for us. Because you dance very well. Anything, just give it to her. She can do the whole thing. And she drives very well too. Because I remember that we all used to do competition there. I started driving as far back as uh, 1980. Uh, is it 80? Before we left school, I started driving. And she too, immediately. And you see that energy is something that uh, after the drama school is packing you because we are seen as boys. We are not seen as girls. 
So if you see that agility, the energy level in us, it is from Mother to Sagrama too. And God has done it because we are all old boys. We are not girls. So we praise God for that. And all what everybody has been saying today, honestly, you are all right. Yemi is also a prayer warrior. We started that back in the school. Then, when we used to be SU, we used to go then. But to the glory of God, we thank God. God has proven himself in our life. And I'm happy today to be here to celebrate with you. I'm also here with my own family too, to celebrate because uh, Yemi's children is just like, she will go on one inside, will go on the head. We used to do it like that. And to the glory of God, we are happy. Yemi, God will continue to take care of you. Mommy, I am happy I have seen you. And I'm so happy. And I don't know what to say. 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 So we bless God and we thank everybody for honoring Yemi. Yemi, happy birthday. I wish you many more years. We will celebrate together. Eight years will be there. People will be there. Nine years, they will be there. Still standing and still beautiful. God bless you. I love you too. Fine. Okay. I don't know. Okay, not always concentrating. I know you very well. I research Adopt Grammar School, Secondary School. University of Agriculture. We went to the now together. Oh, oh, now. Oh, 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 Approximately maybe like 15 years now. She's a very wonderful woman. Everybody has spoken very glowingly of her. And, that, uh, and that's uh, everything that everybody has said is actually a true character. So, uh, Mrs. LMBD, I want to wish you long life, prosperity, and good health. May you live to eat uh, the fruit of your labor. I'm so happy to see you after a long time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, I want to celebrate my sister, my friend, my gist partner, my job more sister. Ola Yemi, Pedro and every day. Indeed, the Lord is good today. We go back a long way. We have shared issues. We have done school runs together. In the days of ULWS, I want to bless the name of the Lord because I know that the Lord has been your strength. I know that you have gone through issues and I thank God because you are standing, you are victorious. Anytime we have cause to share things, I thank God because testimonies always abound. You can't go into them, but I just want to, you to know that I treasure you, I love you, and I pray that as you are finding this fifth floor to join us, I pray that the Lord will move you to a higher dimension of glory in the name of Jesus. The Lord will keep them for you in the name of Jesus. Between you and my brother, the Lord will make you stronger in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will lend you your days. You will not be healed in the name of Jesus. I for me, I celebrate my darling sister. I love you. Thank you, Mama. We are both together. And don't want it so long, man, so that. Uh... Praise God. And I'm jealous of the body. Um, auntie Baby, I see Auntie Yemi from one in London. So, I see already Nikkei, I see the one in the area, and really entertained us well. 
So, but for Papa and Shibai, they need to suffer and must be paid. Hey, Doma, I think I'm going to go to the house. She's a good cook, she's cooking, cooking. Cookery, cookery, ah, that we see a little bit of a good one. What's up, baby? Look at what? Baby, she's on the side. I mean, we'll be your friend. You say, I'm going to go to the house. Praise the Lord. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Although 19. 91, praise the Lord. We've been together for more than how many years now? 32 years. Already, already, you must. If I don't let me, so you already here. So I'll go next year. And then I'll say, well, let Papa. Praise the Lord. And since then, we have been good friends. All I know about you are for a lot of days. We celebrate many more years in Jesus' name. Amen. The glory of God will continue to shine forth in your life. Amen. You will not bury any of your children Amen. and your husband too. Amen. And you will live long. For the Bajra of our mommy now. Grandma, you find me, you find me, you find me, you find me. You find me, 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 you find me. Happy birthday. Love you. We are very, very close. We are very, very close. We are very, very close. We are five and six. We shout in the morning, we shout in the night, every day. And by extension, we are very close. I will just do a little modification to the testimonies that have been shared here today. When I was marking my 50th birthday, my friend made some comments. Professor Dai Wai Dai. He said, Tim is a workaholic. And I will say here today that Mrs. Olayemi is also a workaholic. My friend said, Tim, Olagidi, my dear, Agidi, who go to 50. If you know my son, Mrs. Olayemi, I don't know any Agidi lower. Every duty value, and I'll be giving you. Praise the Lord. Mrs. Elimide is very friendly. He's very jovial. He's very mature. He's very enterprising. And um, send her any message, she will go. But they say, can you see that runs in now? And he said, can you see runs in me? We can interpret a word to so many. Maybe my father, my own trainee or my grant, when you speak a word, I have the capacity to give it up more than 100 interpretations. You have that capacity too. And by the time you agree that, you are likely to be confessing so many people. So since after 50, I've been adjusting, I've been uh, adapting, I've been uh, 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 acclimatizing and acculturating. The same thing I want to tell you, Sayah, so Allah, you mean, and you come and calm down, but come and calm down. Bye. Uh, on the Christmas occasion of your 50th birthday, I wish you long life. I wish you success. I wish you education. I wish you promotion. I wish you sound mind, and I wish you wellness of health. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Okay. So every Christmas, every birthday, something must land in my house. And then I remember when, when I was very young, I was in the hospital for a very long time. We really took care of my child. My mind was at rest. Just say, don't worry, don't worry. You know, despite everything, so this is so good to watch. It's really a very dear and lovely sister. So I receive this opportunity to really appreciate and thank you for all you do. We love you, and I pray that many more years in the land of living, God will enlarge your clothes and establish your feet. Everything that you have desired, God will do more than you have ever been for imagine in Jesus' name. 
this is the point where she starts to eat the fruit of her, of her labor. And I just pray that she's not cut short. I pray that she lives a long life. I pray that you eat the fruit of your labor. I pray that on the important day of our lives, on my wedding, my sister's weddings, my brother's wedding, nobody is going to accept, nobody is going to say they are the mother of the bride. You are going to be there as the mother of the bride. As you were there on my convocation, you are going to be there on my call to buy, you are going to be there on my sister's convocation. I just pray that God will continue to uphold you and God will continue to give you the strength. God will continue to fill you with the strength. God will continue to fill you with living water and you shall live to see our children, you shall live to see our grandchildren in Jesus' name. Thank you. I'm ready to a little figure. I'm ready who is next? MC, I'm doing a job for you. The other, the other. Okay. You are the other. Okay. 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 Okay.
makes her very uncomfortable. Even if she has to, she has she has to like. Even if she has to not to do some things for herself, she will be for it. Um, I'm very grateful to have this woman as my mother because she has she has created a safe space that we can talk to her and it just makes me very happy. To be able to see her um, celebrate his age, I'm very happy that she's here and I know that it would not be possible without the power of God. So I want to thank God on your behalf. I want to pray that you will live to see many more years in Jesus' name. No evil shall befall you. Um, you will be anytime that on our, on our wedding days, no person will feel your place. You will be there as the wife of the bride, as the wife of the bride. Everybody will recognize you. You would, you would live to see many more years in your story. I just want to say thank you to God. I thought it was uh, okay. <laughs> And I see this is allowed. There's nothing I can say. And uh, those two people here, they knew how I was able to say you know. <laughs> so tell us everything. How how the young guy and how the nine got it. This is a good Anyways, uh, we give all the glory. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Ah, I'm happy that eventually you gave uh, mommy and daddy see. Daddy, I'm happy this morning. What is it? What are you going to eat? Celebrant is not eating. It's an appraisal issue for somebody. They have not paid the balance. Me, huh? <laughs> what are you eating? I'm Salah. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming once today. Uh, I just want to give glory to God for this, uh, for being able to witness this day. Um, this is something that we, we are likely to take for granted. There are so many people who, who were not able to witness a landmark birthday of their spouse, either the husband or the wife. So for that, I give glory to God and to follow God alone for giving you a life and for making me healthy uh, to witness this day. And for making my wife, you know, healthy to celebrate as we pray. Give glory to God. Um, the journey started in 19, 1996, late 96, right? Um, Afu, uh, Goro, Afu, something wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> These are the kind of friends I keep. Ayla, I asked Afu if something was wrong with you. He said yes. <laughs> okay. So 1996, uh, that was after service, right? So um, during service, I, I decided to give my life to Christ, right? Uh, because uh, I had known uh, what they called born again since I was in secondary school. My my big sister, Auntie Mitayo, Auntie Yemi, you remember? I went to see you, I like, you know. They came to the house and they changed everything that we were used to, you know. Um, so that was the foundation. Eventually, um, I decided to get born again during service, 1996. So when I came back to Abu Kuta, right, I served in Ibadan. When I came back to Abu Kuta, I, I was, Ibadan was Pastor Femi Emmanuel, right? You know, so uh, Living Spring, Living Spring Chapel. So when I came to Abu Uputa, I, I searched for a Bible-believing church, um, and I found Winners Chapel at Abu Uputa. So in Winners, I, I was very active. I was the chief security. Um, I was the head of security for the church, uh, and the legal advisor, uh, unofficially, right? So, and I was this sister, you know, I was looking for uh, a serious relationship. There was a relationship that uh, I never gave into. 
in the pattern. Remember, uh, this uh, uh, child of a very rich, rich uh, parent, you know, uh, they, they, they wanted to uh, match us up, but I thought, no, that wasn't for me, you know, I didn't have the need. You know. So when I got to Abibuta, uh I saw this beautiful sister leading praise worship, you know. Ah, come on, when they lay to sight, you know. So, uh, <laughs> even though we were born again, we could still see, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, the people were not sick, no mistake, you know. And uh, she was dry, vibrant, and burning for Christ. And that was exactly what I wanted, you know. So, I made my findings, I, and I, I, you know, I did my research, and I, I learned that she was in Sinab. Yeah, three. Exactly what I wanted because I wanted somebody who could give me some time to struggle and find my seat before asking for marriage. So she was in year three and she was living in five year course. I said, okay, that will buy me two years to struggle and get the key to my house and the key to my car. That was my dream. I will never ever say I want to get married before I got the key to my car and the key to my own house. Not house, house, but flat of my own. So I thought this was the right one. So I prayed about it. I had a need in the spirit. And uh, I don't want to say the rest was history. You know, I would have uh, cut a corner to say the rest was history. But I, I was bold enough to approach this sister. No, no, no. What happened was I was looking at approaching her and uh, God brought her out of the church one day. I was outside. You know, security, we, we were always outside and all that. So she wanted to buy anointing oil. It was anointing service. So she wanted to buy anointing oil. And uh, I happened to, want, to be the one she came to to speak to. Ah, money, ah, baby, okay. You know, God has led that to me, <laughs> you know. So I think, um, did you give me money to buy or? Uh, I bought it and uh, oh, did, did you give me money to buy or oh, I bought it and you gave me money? You didn't give me money. You gave me money and I collected it. Uh, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> You know. So uh, anyway, I wasn't. I was just a bloody copper. I just did it, so I would have collected it anyway. <laughs> I did the errand now, I bought the anointing oil and that was it, you know. After that, I expected the babe to recognize me. But the next time she saw me, she just blanked me. And the baby, you know, she just blanked me as if ah, we, haven't, we hadn't met before. She don't shell it. I tightened my belt and I made the second approach. This time around, I went to the pastor. Pastor, Pastor Salako, Pastor Salako, and I told Pastor Salako that, ah, I saw this beautiful lady and uh, I prayed about it and I have the lady in this place. Pastor Sahaka said, ah, you are my son now. She's my daughter. Don't worry. Be bold. Go to her. Speak to her. I said, okay, thank God. That's the, that's the permission I needed from you. So I spoke to Sister Yemi and Sister Yemi said, ah, <laughs> you should have prayed at it. You have got the lead. I haven't prayed about it. So you give me time to pray about it. I said, okay. The game starts. <laughs> so she went and she prayed about it. And uh, it got to a point, she said, okay, you know what? I'm not too sure, right? It seems our friendship is affecting the, you know, revelation. Can we just uh, break for a while? I think the platonic friendship, so that I can be, you know, I can be real with myself, so that I'm not mixing things. I said, okay, take all the time you want. So she went for about a month, we got a high high from her back, and eventually, uh, one day after service, uh, she just said she wanted to see me. And oh my God, that day, I can never forget that day. She was speaking in parable. There, there was no passage in the Bible that she did not go. And she was just referring to this, referring to that. Here yeah, I was like, so I'm part of her, so <laughs> You know? So uh, eventually, she wasn't too clear. And she said, well, my grandma is around now from Lagos. I'd like us to see her together. So we saw grandma, we saw mom. And uh, right, the first day I saw daddy, ah, 
<laughs> that was very tall. It was taller than this then. When people grow older, they grow a bit shorter. Why? So I just went to see Sister Yemi and I was coming out of the house and I saw this tall man, healthy looking man coming. I just said, Kalesa. I just went. He didn't know that it was his daughter that I came to see. So I said, is that your dad? She said, yes. I said, ah, oh, mom. <laughs> Eventually, uh, she arranged it and I met dad. And um, I met mommy to officially uh, the council us. And uh, I can at this point say the rest is history. Because the union is blessed by four beautiful children. We are still here together through thick and thin, you know, there are up and down, which is normal in every relationship, even brothers and sisters, how much more wives and husbands, you know, for the thing God to be there together, waxing strong, you know, and uh, doing it together through the grace of God. And I pray, you know, that uh, in another 10, 20 years, we still be together, celebrating each other in the mighty name of Jesus. And I just want to thank my friends who have supported me all along. Lola Salau, I thank you. Lola, I thank you. Those ones were having my back, you know, behind me, you know. So, I thank you. Uh, Niji Salau, I thank you. You've been a very good friend. I follow the Seriki, only okay, but I thank you. I keep pressing. I am a good. You know, I thank you so much. Shagwa Ilara, you taught me all the bad things that I know. And thank God I gave my life to Christ. Now you have given your life to Christ too. By a pastor, I did me, did me, I did, you refused. <laughs> but the wife is a pastor, we give glory to God, you know. So, uh, I thank you so much. Daddy, mommy, I thank you for giving back to this beautiful daughter and uh, allowing me to marry her and bear my children to her. I thank you so much. You know, we have been calling. In fact, you need to be sure, you know. That's a good thing to me. I don't place many more in Jesus' name. You will know that by all along. Oh, I forgot to say, she's a, she's a very strong woman. Very strong woman. Sometimes, in some instances, she just takes in and takes over, you know. She doesn't see driving to the road, I mean, right, she doesn't see it as anything. I'll be like, hey, me, I'm tired. I just can't over one money. She just left two weeks ago now. Why do you want to go? She just take the party. She has gone, you know. Sometimes I see her shape, I'll have to tell her. You know, sometimes I say, I can't drive, don't worry, I'll drive. And sometimes I'm driving my wife to say, are you tired? Let me come and take you back, you know. Anytime they are going to see my sister in some go, whenever I went to see, she's the one that's always saying, let's go and see my mom in some go. My mom, oh, she's the one that will be begging me that we should go and see my mom. That shows the kind of wife she is. A random applause for her. And whenever she's going to see my mom, and I want to buy the milk and the meal that my mom likes, she said, no. I'll buy it with my money. A decade will not buy a drive like the soon. A round of applause for her. You know? So Allah I thank you. Thank you for your support. Sometimes you are very stubborn, you know. But uh, <laughs> somebody says very, very below. Okay. I mean, I am not stubborn. I mean, me, I'm stubborn. As you told me, me, I'm stubborn. As you told me, I'm stubborn. No, I'm not. Shabu, you are the only friend I have today. Banky, I'm stubborn. I thought Banky is my friend. <laughs> Me is allowed. Am I stubborn? No. These are my friends now. I'm not stubborn. I just show me one bit of delay. But I think you know for me stubborn. I want to go drop. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone. My wife. The wife of my youth. Oh my god. Ah. 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 Ah.
consciousness. Thank God for Papa. I have that consciousness in me. That except the see of love with my love was still come. For see the container for holy shit. And I, you know, I started telling myself, I will not die, but live to declare the glory of the Lord. I got married after I had clocked 25. Not same year that I clocked 25. Because by this May, it will be 25 years that I've been married to the But, you know, I'm so good. When I was going to get married, it was one wahala or the other. It was one problem or the other. But the Lord came through for me. The Lord came through and came through for me. The Lord has always been faithful. When I was pregnant, my thought, I took him immediately. And then, you know, I had the miscarriage. And my husband was worried. And now said, I told him, you know, jokingly, Moni ni tori pe omo ye koki yi shi o kuri, o wono yu ye shi wale. Because, for some people, Moni si, I had, I have done, this is a certain case between me and my God, that my firstborn would be a boy. So, and my husband wanted a girl. Moni ka, Moni yo omo ye, he was worried that I only miss carrying when he only had to show up in it or he had to use a one. And not long after then, I took him to a dormitory and I started spotting again. I remember we were still at Rajoba, then we had moved to Lagos. Winner's chapel was still at Rajoba. I was spotting every now and then, I would be seeing blood. I didn't tell my husband, but that day. Then it used to be Tuesday and Thursdays that would have the um, midweek service. That faithful Tuesday, as I was stepping into the compound, into Rajoba, Papano, Mama said something. And she said, said, the Lord said, I will not grieve you because you are supposed to praise me. If I grieve you, who then will praise me? Is it you that I'll beat? Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2. And Holy Spirit told me, that is your word. And there and then, spotting stopped. And that was how I had the Lord Johnny Loju. Everybody was going to have the Lord Johnny Loju, and it was becoming difficult. I had the Lord Johnny Loju at my sister in law's hospital. I laid up the husband there. They said, the Lord Johnny Loju was. When I took him, we had named the Lord Johnny Loju. And that is how we used to do our children. Once I take it like that, we will just name the child. And we will call the child forth and we will be praying, we will be calling the name and we will pray. So, when my sister in law will say, ah, and now I say, ah, what do I do? What do was not bidding. Filter distance. Kini go, kini go. I was like, you go, go, kini go, go. Medical, whatever. We got there July 9th, 1999. And, you know, my, my, Doing the kidney, you know, a doctor and nurse, you know, yeah, I want, they don't want to take it. Yeah, I, thought, I was just calm. And then, when later, sister now came to me, saying, You know, kidney, you know, what is it? Only a service you dilate, kilo flesh, and I said they are going to do this. When is now what you are finding difficult to tell me? Say it is well. If it is the will of God, let me be done. To do it that day, that the following morning, around 3 a.m., sister just came upstairs because the hospital was upstairs. Then they were living downstairs. So we are lying down, lying down. Say, ah, that uh, Oluke said, eh, you were the baby who had fetal distance. They could not hear the breathing of Oluwa Johnny. You know, what sister said that he did on, and she left. I took my Bible and I opened to Second Corinthians chapter two, verse two. I said, God. He said we should bring back into your remembrance. I know you are not a man that forget promises. You don't forget things. But paraventure, you are you put this promise aside. I'll just come to say this is what you said concerning me. That you will not be me. And you say faithful is you that started a good work in me. That you will surely perfect it. And I told God there and there. I say, only what the will do follow what this guy who come out alive. I will be alive. After this operation, there will never be any complications. And until I tell you, God.
all that I am okay with childbearing. That is what you should stop. And that was it. I had to know what I do. I had to know what to mean. Only what you say. Even when we felt we've had enough, only what mommy came after five years. Grace, only what mommy. And that was why I had all of them through CS. And that was why the first time I had this song, that if it be more back on that, I will come, I will come back the so that when I was going to have my fourth child, a new doctor at that hospital opened my health file and said, You've had three CSEs. Say what? After this one, don't know it. it is well. He said, Oh, let me money is his ball. Even when I took him with only one money, it was a mixed feeling. I said, God, and that was what brought her uh, brought by her name. Ah, mommy only work at the mommy. As in, he knows my history. And the two decades, you know, you know, you know, you know, and my husband was like, yes, that would be the name of the child. Only one mommy. God knows me. I thank God today. When they call me, yeah, I'm one more. I'm one of them. I thank God today. Each time I come out alive, don't you know what to mean? You know, I learned that I, I entered the theatre around 4:30, and they didn't bring me out until past 10. Why? Because the blood did not stop, and they could not stick me up. It was that bad. And by the time I opened my eyes, there was one deep this side, another type of jeep, you know, on the left hand side. Dr. Shoti Loye is a pastor with the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And he came, he said, they checked my PCB then, he said, he came to me, he said, Auntie Olayemi, you serve God and continue to serve God. He said, for an, another person, at least had to buy about three pounds of blood. But more need that is a blood transfusion for me. I'm grateful to God. In so many ways, so many cases, the Lord has always been preserving me. They are talking about going to a day every year. And for me, from here to junction, on my accidents, go she me more she me. People she me for our Lord. Back to the present. Last year when I talked 49, I told God, I said, next year, by his grace, as in this year, when I'm going to clock 50, I'm going to do praise worship for 50 days and fasting for 50 days. All I want to do is just to thank you, Lord. My fasting is just to thank you. Representing each day with the year, one each year with a day. And I started second December. I've been fasting. I ended my fasting yesterday, 50 days, and we now go on our joy. So when I started, I think the third day, the Holy Spirit said, pray that your mother will not be a canker worm unto you. I didn't take it serious. The following day, the same thing came. Yeah, but my jail I turned it into Thanksgiving. When I said, God, I'm grateful that my mommy is not going to be a cancow. On the 7th of December, my mom was admitted as my sister in law's hospital for about two weeks. She had cardiac arrest twice. This woman that you're looking at. Later, sister called me and said, I'm a refer mommy in law's she was admitted at last on 28th of December. 31st of January 1st, I was there at last week. The when we the day we first got there, let me have told you what do see my third one. We looked at my mom. Dulce was crying and I was crying. Look at the doctor examining her. Test and stuff like that to come for there. You were here to. They gave Juicy one, they gave me one. I collected the one from Juicy. And the doctor was like, no, the two of you cannot be going to the same place at the same time. All these things need to be done as soon as possible. You will go this way, you will go this way. And then I think you see. You will go, she will go, I will go, she will go, I will go. She was admitted. Barely 10 minutes 
in the medical emergency. Paul admits he won't see. The person on her right hand side, that 25 year old lady, died. The woman, an elderly woman at her front, died. And I was like, God, ah, hey, my mommy, the man that I have been with me, I love me. Even if I won't be able to mark my birthday, be a shame on me. On the day of my birthday, don't let people be coming and be telling me, but Pele, ah, Pele, oh, and the Quara Ferrabu. That will never be my portion. We didn't want her, four people died there. And before she was transmitted, uh, transferred to another world. And I kept on praying, thanking God. December 31st, I joined online. My, when it was time for Thanksgiving present, I danced like people there, they were just looking at me. And God came through, just like He has always been doing. My mom was discharged last week. She's here. If you had seen her a week ago, if you had seen her a week ago, you would be sorry, you would be like, Kilo Day. She's a lot better now. She's a, in fact, she's far, far better. Some people only more no I thank God that God backed me up with his grace. God backed me up. I thank God for the man that God made me to get married to. We have we've had our challenges. But I thank God because it's not just my husband. He is my brother. At times when he when he does some money, but I think that I'm by me. Yeah, yeah. You are by a measurement of one. You just be laughing. You know, at times when he bears for one, ah, push your brother to get to move for the new financing. You are no longer brother to get a job. This person that you know. But I thank God. He has always been supportive. He has always been there for me. He is a good father. I keep saying that to the hearing of my children. I say, see, your dad, everybody has his faults, but give it to him. He is a good father. You are saying I'm selfless. It's because you never, you, the, people, the people that are saying I'm selfless, they should get closer to my husband. They will know that Papa Zopo, you are selfless. He is my husband. He deprives himself a lot of things in order to just make the immediate family happy. I will tell my children, like my husband will write this day, big boy, me, me, oh, me, boy, big boy. No, because of you, I can't do big boy. Because I have to take care of the world and which is the two. I thank God where I am today. It's by His grace. It's not by power. It's not by might. I'm alive today to declare his glory. I'm alive today because I'm like Benny, uh, Pushiwami, uh, Oyi. Our head girl, you know, she's one of the first set of people when we finished from secondary school that got an admission. Oh, my Lord, I want to take a, get admission, finished, Michelle Gide and stuff like that. 2007, almost all that plague died. Very brilliant lady like that. You know, for you, but when, when, when I look back and I see all these things, I cannot but say, thank you, Lord. I cannot but say, thank you, Lord. I remember our uncle beginning. Now when your body, ah, this is a lady that you are enjoying. Mani, come, let me tell you my story. This woman that you are looking, I married to a war room. And it's not even the usual one. Graduate in even graduate law for me. Not the regular one. It was even a shopping complex. Converted to rooms. Shalanga Nicolet Iwa. Yes. Shalanga Nicolet Iwa Liba.
TV. Nobody meet him on the will change the dance. They will be like, ah, this is a lovely day you are enjoying. My husband said anybody that tells me you are enjoying. Tell them, we they for pray, we them what you went through, they should go through it. I'm grateful to God because in all, when I was going to get married, before I met my husband, I told God, I said whatever it will take for my marriage to work, the Lord should grant me the grace to do it. Even in the midst of everything, see go for about go more, I thank God for grace to be calm. That was always calm. Leave that go back. Don't fall down to in court. I thank God that the people, it's only two people that are very close to me, that they were aware. I appreciate both. I'm alive today. It's not by power. It's not by might. But by the special grace of God, I bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for the wonderful children that the Lord has blessed me with. I thank, I thank God for my first God, Oluwa Jomi Lodu. Oluwa Jomi Lodu will be like my mom with John Dory. To my father and share, and I will start taking care of you. And I appreciate God for his life. I thank God for the three girls. I'm so grateful. I thank God that God has always been talking to me. And I thank God that I'm always, and God has got me that spirit to be sensitive whenever he's talking to me. I appreciate God today that I am alive. That day, even when I was planning to mark my 50th birthday, I was thinking of a panel birthday. That was even before my mom, you know, got sick of me. I was saying, just a little you know, just panel thing. But eventually, look at the way the thing turned out to be. I give God all the glory. And I want to say thank you to everybody that came. I appreciate you all. You know, you have one thing or the other doing and you left it to come and honor me. The Lord will honor you. Thank you and God bless you all. All right, so we have had all the testimonies. What's up? There is not that we know, see. But let's just say, let's do the picture of the one here to come out for the day of the of the cake. And so, uh, Marissa and the children, to please come around. It's time for the cocktail of the king. Let's be fast and let's be fast about it, please. Cocktail of the king, DJ, please borrow us some music. We will return it after the event.
We say may your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. For today we say thank you. For the celebrants we say thank you. For testimonies given we say thank you. For keeping our up to today we say thank you. For the parents we say thank you. For this family we say thank you. May your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. God Almighty, we now commit this family into your hands. We pray God that to bless them in the name of Jesus. We pray that in this family they will not cry in the name of Jesus. On the celebrants they will not cry in the name of Jesus. I pray for Eti Shodwe, for Dwayne, you will call it a man, Shemu Kwe in the name of Jesus. El Nisheni Nui Baruje, El Nisheni Nui Eku, El Nisheni Nui Iso, in the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will not be sick in the name of Jesus. God Almighty will protect you from all evil. God will protect you in the name of Jesus. You're going out in place in the name of Jesus. You're coming in his place in the name of Jesus. Your children shall surround your table and they will call you blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty God will be with you. Almighty God will prosper you. Almighty God will be your father in the name of Jesus. You will not sin against God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We commit all those that have traveled to this place into your hands as they will be going to their different destinations. We pray God that will be with them in the name of Jesus. We cover the road with the blood of Jesus. We pray that we will not recall any evil to this birthday in the name of Jesus. And your name shall be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen.